What's going on guys, it is Andrew here, and welcome back to another episode of The Forest. Now, in the last episode, we talked about a little bit about the Q&A that The Forest Developers and Night Games actually released, and some of the things they said that were going to be coming in the next patch, which is, like, more explorable land. Uh, they confirmed that the caves will be open and ready to explore the doors, those amazing cave doors. And in this episode, we're just going to continue reading the Q&A. There's, like, one, two, three four five six more questions um uh, that i'm gonna go through and then i'm gonna leave the last there was like three or four for the next episode uh just to keep things fresh and interesting let me just kill this lizard really quick oh no we're full okay stay there lizard body i'll be back for you we just gotta we just gotta ooh. we just gotta go ahead and deposit these ones if it even lets us is there even room on here yeah there is i guess it is a pretty big rack. I hope it has room. We have enough food to, like, survive us the entire apocalypse, so... We have so much food that this food would literally go bad over time. Before I even get the chance to eat all of this. And we now have full armor as well. I don't know why it's, like, Lizardville around here lately. It has not been hard for me to find lizards. They are literally everywhere right now. Alright. So the first question is... The cannibalism feature has been introduced recently... Is it likely to have side effects such as insanity or infection on the player in future updates? And and Night Games responded by saying, uh, So many horror games seem to use the insanity aspect as part of the gameplay. Uh, they make the screen get distorted or they add chromatic aberration, etc. We sort of feel if you're just sitting there eating a human leg, that might be crazy enough already. <laughs> <laughs> True. Um, they said we would like to add an infection system. We currently have the clean your blood, the clean the blood off yourself system, but it's not yet tied into infections. Eating bad meat could also be part of the same system once it's fully implemented. So basically, they're saying no. There's going to be no insanity uh, feature because they just, you know, they don't really. I guess they really don't support it. But their way of saying it was, if you're eating a leg, you're already insane. It doesn't, there doesn't need to be a system there, and I actually kind of agree with that. And then they said uh, they just they said that they want to further expand on the current system we already have in game, where you have to kind of clean the blood off you after you get into a fight with a cannibal to prevent infection. Um, at the moment, it doesn't do anything, so they said that they want to expand on it and fully implement it, so that if you don't clean the blood off, you're infected, and possibly some maybe if you're cut, uh, you have to you know, stitch it up or bandage it. So there's going to be an infection system in the game eventually. Uh, so the next question is, will the inventory get a rework? For example, you can take as many lizards with you as you want, but you have limited weight in your bag or limited storage. And the answer is yes. With custom storage added, the plan is to have to make players choose which items that they can take with them. We're planning a big overhaul of weight and inventory system. I like that right now because currently... You can hold a lot in uh, in your backpack. And I guess what they want to try and do is completely overwork that so you can't just go out with an entire full backpack. And I like that. It, that little things like that actually increase the survival aspects and the, and the value and the realism uh, that this game brings to the table in terms of survival. Because um, you always want the game to be as realistic as possible. And you want it to be as hard as possible because it being as hard as possible encourages people to, you know, tap into the survival mechanics of the game. And it also makes it scarier because that's one of the main, <clears throat> excuse me, the main intentions of this game is to be a horror game. And obviously there's nothing scarier than thinking you're going to die. So uh, them in reworking the inventory system would be, would be a great thing for this game, this series. Um, I've seen some pictures online of like the, the just absolute crazy like they had literally max of everything so once you have like max molotovs it takes up this whole area max food or max sorry like um granola bars and snacks and then all the food down here and the the armor and the you know all the plants all the weapons you can carry at once the medicine area it just it can get really full really quickly once you're full on rocks and sticks and and everything a bow and arrow with all the arrows over here and it, it gets it really does get a little overwhelming and i do agree that they should over overhaul that system because it's unrealistic to think that someone could carry that much stuff even right now like this inventory i have right now is probably unrealistic because here's your backpack here right 
So you have a rebreather, which that's fine because you would wear that. You wouldn't put that in the backpack. But inside the backpack, you have, you know, like six rocks. <laughs> couldn't fit. All these limbs. You have this pot here. All the, you know, it just... I completely agree that they need to rework it. And I'm glad that they, you know, they've realized that and they're going to do that. What the hell just happened to all those logs I just chopped? I found one. What the hell? They run away? Like, we don't want to be a part of your base. Never. Seriously? Where the hell did they go? Oh, no. Okay, so wait. Where? Here's the tree that I cut down. So they either fell this way. Or this way. Let's go. Let's go investigate. I don't see anything. <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Well. Anyways, back to back to chopping down more trees. Let's chop some down in this area. That's that's some Illuminati shit right there. All right. Uh, can you say anything on when you plan to open up the mountain side of the map? And the answer is very simply, we're aiming to open up the mountain side of the map in the 0 0.18 patch. So the very next patch, the mountain side will be opening. So basically what they're saying here, guys, is this next patch is going to be monumental in this series. So they're going to be adding more islands. They're going to be adding the more caves, especially the caves that we're very interested in behind those doors. They're going to be opening up the mountainsides. They just want you that they, I think, I think the kind of goal now at this stage in the development for, for the developers is they want you to be able to explore. They feel like they've kept us in this one area. And mind you, this area is pretty large, but if you play it enough, you get used to it. And they've kept us in this area for quite a while now. Um, people like us, people who are, you know, we really care about this series. We, we, we know the land. We already know all where all the cave entrances are. And we already know where, where pretty much everything that, that needs to be known. We know where it is already. So they want to give us hardcore people the ability to continue and, and to keep the game kind of fresh. Uh, in a survival aspect because it'll be really cool to start building bases maybe on those mountaintops or maybe on that new island they said they're going to implement and it's going to be really cool to go behind those doors and finally see what's back there so um yeah it definitely keeps it a little fresh for us and the next question is could we get some news on the new walls floors and foundations uh, oh sorry can we get some news on when the new walls flo floors and foundations will be in the multiplayer mode um, and it says, we ran into a few issues getting this all working in multiplayer. The custom building system is pretty complex, so sending that over a network makes things a little more difficult. We think that at least some, hopefully all of this will be doable in the next patch. So there we go. I don't play this game much multiplayer, uh, mainly because I love just making these single player. Oh, wait. Hey, are these our logs or are these the ones we just chopped right now? I can't even tell. I can't even tell. I just heard the little noise, though, so that means we got some cannibals near us. We're going to have to keep an eye out for that as we continue building here. And also, really quickly, I just want to say, I'm only um, kind of building these bridges on camera because I'm also talking about the Q&A. But um, I'm going to do a lot of the building off camera as well, so don't worry too much about it. If you're kind of, uh, if you really don't want to see me build all this, that's fine. I'm going to go in here and get some more food so that we can keep building because our stamina is kind of low. And if we get attacked, it'd be nice to be able to just run away as well. You never want to get caught with low stamina. So uh, will the heads up display or the HUD or the HUD, depending on how you pronounce it, uh, will it be reworked in the near future? And the answer is we'd like to add. Oh, sorry, bird. Jeez, I didn't even see you there. We'd like to eventually add extra information on the pedometer. Do we even have the pedometer? We do have the pedometer. Okay, so as of right now, it just shows you steps. Oh, it also shows you temperature and your heart rate too. 70 beats per minute, which I don't think that works because... Um, okay, the current temperature is, uh, is negative 10. I can't see if that's... Okay, body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius and uh, it's negative 2 outside weather. And our heart rate's 70 beats per minute. And we've taken 434 steps, which doesn't sound right, actually. I would assume it'd be a lot higher than that. But anyways, um, they said they want to add more information to the pedometer. It would be a complement to what's already on the heads-up display. We're not planning on a, he a heads-up display reworking currently. But if anyone has any good ideas or suggestions, send them to Evan. We'd love to hear them. 
Um, so that's awesome. Uh, they're always, it, it's cool that they're always willing to take, you know, advice or ideas from the community. That's, that's kind of the beauty of, of early access right there is that people are the developers, most developers, unless they're people like the stomping land, whose developers were absolutely terrible <laughs> and kind of just stole the money and ran. Um, it, it seems like early access is a really cool place to kind of to get advice from the community and to grow the game because I feel like if this game didn't come to early access, it'd be very different from what it even is now. And this game has been adapted a lot through the community. And the very last one for today's video is you mentioned controller support would be coming in the version 10. Uh, are there any updates on the implementation of controller support? And the answer is we got behind on controller support. We originally intended it to be implemented a few patches ago, but it got pushed back. Unfortunately with each patch we have, a list that we try and implement it and sometimes it turns out to be a little bit too much for that certain patch certain features get pushed from one update to the next and controller support unfortunately kept getting pushed to the next patches and then reworking all the player controlling got left behind we'll move it up in priority however and try and get it in ASAP so that's not really a defined answer but I don't really care because even when controller support comes out I'm gonna keep playing with keyboard and mouse I don't know even many PC players who prefer controller if you do let me know in the comment section below if you're if you're someone who would prefer a controller, but keyboard and mouse is just the way to go with games like this, in my opinion. The pedometer to me, okay, so they said they're going to rework the pedometer and, and kind of, I literally, I didn't even, until two minutes ago, I didn't even know I had the pedometer. That's how much I just really don't care about it. So that's not really huge news to me. I don't know if people do use it. Maybe it's just my playing style. Once again, let me know in the comments if you use the pedometer often. I'm going to take a wild guess and say people don't use it often. Let's climb up here and see our, our how our new bridge looks. Do 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 do. Okie dokie. Well, it works. That's for sure. Oh oh oh! I just fell off. Oh oh oh. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good though. I mean, at least it works. How many logs are we away from this one? Okay, not bad. We're hundred. We're one hundred and thirty-eight total logs away from being finished. Period, though. You're dying of thirst. Find some water. Oh damn! I skipped the I skipped the night too many times that it started killing me. Good thing it's raining. Let's go get some water from the lake down here or the pond. Sorry. Now it's full, and then if we hop over to our fireplace or fire pit, we can then boil it. We're gonna need to get a a circuit here to finish this bomb off because in the last update or in the last season, I guess it was uh it was actually really useful so i guess now would be kind of a good time to give you guys a little bit of a channel update i like doing the channel updates during these forest videos because pro they're probably my most popular series and rather than doing like channel update vlogs or whatever we just throw them in these videos while i do mundane tasks like chopping down trees or cooking water so um pretty much what i want to let you guys know is <clears throat> what's going on with the channel how'd that log end up over here <clears throat> there's logs like everywhere where the hell did these come from maybe these are the disappearing logs from last time i'll plop them on this one because this one's probably the furthest away from being done or sorry the f closest to being done is this water done yet there we go now we're good on hydration i can take my pot back and you put up you can put a boiling pot in your backpack it's no big deal it isn't really a big deal <laughs> it's not going to burn the material or or burn your skin nah <laughs> but one thing that is going to be coming to the channel really soon, guys, and I can't say the exact date because they asked me not to, um, is ARC. Now, ARC releases on Steam Early Access June 2nd, but I will be getting Early Access to it, you know, if all goes well, so cross my fingers. Um, I'm told I'm going to, but I don't like any giving any definitive answers because that's, you know, I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to be the unlucky one who they forget to email and all of a sudden I'm left out in the cold, but... If all goes well, it looks like as of right now, I'm getting early access to Ark. And let's just say if I do get it, it'll be really, really soon. And that game looks so freaking good. If you haven't yet seen it, just hop over to my channel. You're already on it. Just click my name and go to my like two videos back. I did a Ark trailer, uh, trailer reveal thing where, you know, the trailer was there and I kind of talked about the trailer for a couple minutes and it, it just looks so freaking good, guys. It, and I haven't been that hyped for a trailer or a game since I saw the trailer for this game, The Forest. And I think it's going to be an amazing game, guys, and it's going to definitely be coming to the channel um, and hopefully really soon as well. I'll be posting that daily um, because it looks like it has a crazy amount of things to do, a crazy amount of content. 
Um, so hopefully that'll be like a daily thing for the next, you know, for the foreseeable future, uh, alongside, you know, the forest, Subnautica, lots of other things. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good time for content right now, especially since I just, oh yeah, I forgot about this guy. <laughs> I'm surprised it's still there. It wasn't dragged away by a family of raccoons or something. No, but, uh, I'm just super excited for that, and the fact that we started the forest playthrough recently, we still got Subnautica, we still have the forest, and then we'll have Ark, and it's just, it's exciting. Ark is going to be a really exciting game, and I can't wait for it. So let's let's go ahead and finish this bridge really quickly, and ta-da! Alright guys, so I'm going to actually go ahead and end this episode here, but in this episode we actually finished off two of the, what is it, four bridges, five bridges, one, two... Three, four. Oh, there's like there's a mini one over there that doesn't count. So there's four bridges left actually. So, hey, what happened to this tree? Oh well, hey. If I could actually get away with cutting down all these trees, that would look really cool. It'd just be like little floating towers. <laughs> That'd actually be really cool. But um, yeah, so we're gonna have to finish this one off. That's only 16. We might do that one in a video. I'll save the really big ones. That one's only 17. I'll save like that one over there, which is like 52 for a vid for um. No, I'm not gonna save it for a video. I'll do that off video, but. Hey, this one disappeared too. That's very interesting. Maybe I can actually cut them all down. That actually probably look really cool after. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the like button. What do you think of any of the things that I talked about in today's video? Um, in the next video, there's a, like three or four Q&A questions left. And one of them is very interesting, but I saved that for the next video. Um, yeah, let me know if you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it. I love your faces. Bye-bye.